Welcome to Beer Tales. I'm Chris. I'm a third of Beer Tales. The other guys are doing their own thing from their own homes. Hope you guys are all staying safe as well. Hey, my name is Alberto. I'm the Viking. We are three guys that don't know nothing about beer, but we've been drinking beer all of our freaking life. I'm Oscar, Alberto, and Chris. And that's why we created this YouTube channel. We review beer, we let you know what we think. If we rate it over six, uh, we chug it. And if we rate it below six, we dump it in a bucket. Hopefully the beer that I'm gonna review today, we don't have to dump it because I don't have a bucket and I wanna drink beer. Hey. So before we go any further, if you don't already, please follow us on Facebook, on Instagram, on YouTube, beer.tales. When you're on YouTube, please subscribe. Bring that bell so you get the videos as soon as they come out. Also, follow us on Untapped Beer Dash Tales. The question you've all been waiting for. I don't think I can do this as good as Oscar. What the fuck are we gonna drink tonight? Hey. Lock On. It's a beer out of, um, like I said, it's a beer out of Winwood Brewing. Um, it's a... Lager, I think. Yeah, it's a lager 5.2, actually. Wow, that's nice. Uh, 5.2, the art and the can is very cool. It is a hop that's locked up, um, and he's just lying on the sidewalk. So I did a little re research on Lock On. Lock On is actually a type of street art. If you've ever been to Miami, you know that Winwood, where this beer is brewed, um, is very heavily into the art scene, especially street art. So Lock On art is when an artist um, takes a piece of furniture or something in the public. So think of like a park bench and then locks um, his piece of art onto it um, and creates a work of art. I, hey, I'm sure it's gonna be good. They, 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 they brew beautiful beer. So let's open it. Okay. I can see it's gonna be have, it's gonna have a great carbonation. The smell is beautiful. It's, it's fruity. I, uh, I just popped this open. Yeah, it smells hoppy. It smells very good. I, I love the can. Like all of Winwood Brewing Company's cans just have cool art, which makes sense because Winwood is the arts district of Miami, so they should have good art if they are a brewery in Winwood. Some other breweries in Winwood that you might know about are Vezasur, which is owned by Budweiser and Heiser Bush. There's also Concrete Beach, which is owned now, I believe, by Sam Adams and Dogfish Head. And then there's Jay Wakefield, um, which I believe is still independent. All very good breweries. Freaking biking. Freaking biking. Beautiful pour. Beautiful head. Let's see. Uh, it's not clear. It's, it's a little bit cloudy. Smell, it, it reminds me of like the smell. I, I, I know it's, I'm gonna, it's my personal experience, but it, it's like, like a, like an IPA, but it does, it, it doesn't smell as, as strong as an IPA. It reminds me of an IPA. Maybe that's why they say it's hoppy. Maybe they throw a lot of hops in this American lager. Interesting. That's why I love craft breweries. I mean, they, they, they are able to do whatever they want. It's, for a lager, it's actually dark. Again, for a lager. The carbonation is there. Um, the smell of the hops are right there. I wonder what they use. Let me see if it says here in the can. Do, 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 do. Oh wow, this is actually brewing bottle and can by Winwood Brewing Company, Miami, Florida, and Portsmouth, New Hampshire. New Hampshire. New Hampshire. 
Yeah, whatever. Oh, yeah. It's uh, Cedar Hopes. Um, very, um, Cedar Hopes is very known in, in, in lager beers. Yeah, it's kind of like, this is like a cross. If you were, if a hot, if a, if an IPA, sorry, I lost my train of thought. If an IPA was to have sex with a lager, this is what their child would be. You want the taste of an IPA without having six and a half to seven to eight and a half percent. And this is it. This is 5.2. This is an easy drinking beer. I don't know if it's, uh, if I will take it to the sandbar. It's, it's, it's very hoppy. The citrus part in the smell, I don't feel it. In the taste, yes. It's citrus. High ABV for a lager, uh, but that doesn't mean it's bad. It's actually a good beer. It's refreshing. It's hoppy. It's not your typical um, lager or pilsner beer that is um, it's just basically just water with a little bit of uh, um, yellow coloring like the micro companies. Um, beer is good. I really like the fact that they you can smell the hops as soon as you open the can um it's just very refreshing too it's 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 a very good beer though this is gonna get a 7.2 from me this beer 7.1 7.1 um this beer on my rate gets a 7.8 lock on hoppy lager I gave this guy a 7.2, Alberto gave this guy a 7.1, and Oscar gave it a 7.8 for a total score of 7.36. That's a 7.4. That means we drink it. It's gonna be fast and easy. I'm sure I'm gonna win because I'm the Viking. Lock on. Go ahead. Cheers, guys. Beautiful beer. Woo. Guys, don't forget to follow us on Facebook, on Instagram, on YouTube. When you're on YouTube, make sure you subscribe and... Ring my bell. Ring my bell. That way you know when we post new videos. That's the bell on the YouTube channel. Follow us on Untab, Beer Dash Tales. <coughs> and um, Join us we'll see you in another beer, beer review on, on Beer Dash Tales. Cheers. Hey guys, if you liked our beer review of Winwood Brewing Company's Lock On Hoppy Lager, join us next week because we're going back to nightlife to drink their pale ale. Enjoy the Miami nightlife.